We just got back from Japan where we had some incredible gluten-free food. And today we're going to show you the top 10 gluten-free restaurants where you can try some Japanese classics. And if you stay to the end, we're going to show you a gluten-free only experience that's going to have your friends wishing they had a gluten allergy. So let's get to it. So the first place that we went to was Gluten-Free Teas. Gluten-Free Teas is a dedicated restaurant, so it means everything there is gluten-free. And they have a pretty expansive menu with all Japanese classics. Gyoza or Okonomiyaki or even a ramen. Yep. Um, you can try all of those there. I think the ones that really stood out for me were their tempura yeah. and then that Cajun chicken. I think it's sort of like a tempura... Yeah. chicken anyway they do fried food incredibly well it does fill up really quickly so you might want to plan a couple days ahead and get a reservation yeah totally the second place on our list is shimba sakia ramen where you're going to order on a vending machine you're going to mark all your items gluten-free and they're going to be brought to you in an instant this place was super futuristic i felt like yeah. i was in the tokyo of my dreams and the food was actually great that was one of my favorite ramen we had in japan yeah, it was delicious. If you don't have a Japanese debit card, um, bring some cash because you're going to need it for the vending machine. Not an official number on this list. You got to go to the Tsujiki fish market, especially if you like sashimi or like any sort of seafood. It is the largest fish market in the world. Um, we even did a little uh, food challenge <laughs> that Mary went through because she's a little hesitant on some foods. We'll link that video at the end and you can watch our entire Japanese special. Remember when we went to the curry bun place? Oh my god. Definitely go to Rice Hack Bakery because they have these amazing gluten-free curry buns. And I think they're the only gluten-free curry buns we could find in Japan. So don't miss that. Uh, it's sort of like a Japanese street food staple and it was really good. Delicious. They were great. To get to our third location, we took the bullet train to Osaka. Now, Osaka is actually very different from Tokyo culturally, and there's a gluten-free restaurant in Osaka that totally exemplifies that spirit. It's called Oko, and it's run by Shiho, and she runs a four-story restaurant this is all amazing. on her own, literally. There's one person, she's cooking, she's taking orders, She's communicating through microphones that she has placed in the bottom so that everyone knows when their order is ready. And she relies on like building this community at her restaurant in order to be able to run this uh, and not have to you know, constantly be cleaning up after people. There's guitars on the wall. You can write your name on the wall. She gives you these massive portion sizes wow. of these amazing Huge. foods. A lot of them can be made gluten-free, including some uh, street food classics, which Osaka are known for, okonomiyaki and soba noodles. Uh, another type of street food that is famous in Osaka is called takoyaki, octopus balls. Or balls of fried octopus. <laughs> there is this incredible woman named Komeko, and she makes takoyaki and okonomiyaki gluten free because a friend of hers is gluten free. And so she was sad that one of her closest friends couldn't enjoy these two classic Japanese foods. And so that is how Komeko Takoyaki was born. And she's so nice. Oh, she lovely. asked to take a picture with us, which was crazy because we wanted to take a picture with her. She runs this tiny little restaurant all on her own, cooks it all in front of you. She's got a great energy. Honestly, it just reminded me of having a meal at my grandmother's house. I thought it was really amazing. And a short day trip from Osaka is the town of Nara, which brings us to number five on our list, a small gluten-free cafe called Sara Soju. I had pork and beef bolognese. Mary had a quiche. Uh, but they did have a little trick up their sleeve with their to-go cheesecake bites. So you could so walk good. and eat cheesecake, which we obviously did. Around the corner from Sarasoju is something that I was looking forward to for months before we went on our trip. Nakatani Do. And they make some of the best, no, they make the best mochi that I had in Japan. And they use a traditional technique with these mallets. There's a whole show around it. I think a couple times a day, you can actually watch them beat the mochi to warm it up and soften it in order for them to stretch it and to make these wonderful little daifuku. You're gonna need to sharpen your elbows to be able to get to the front and wow. actually see what's going on, but it is well worth it. If you check out the Nara Deer Park, which is something that a lot of people go see, including us, you can see that in our full special. There is an ice cream that I'm not going to say any more because oh, this is all Mary. No, this was so good. Okay, Hokkaido milk 
ice cream. But this flavor is literally just milk. It's just sweet cream and it is so good. It is better than any like vanilla or sort of simple flavor I've had. For number six, we're gonna take you to Kyoto, the historic capital of Japan, and what we found to be the gluten-free paradise, paradise of Japan. Paradise. And for this first place, Gion Soy Milk Ramen, I'm honestly, I'm gonna leave, and I'm just gonna give honestly, this to Mary, because this is all her. I, I got this one, I got it for us. Take a little break. That feeling of like when your grandma would make you soup and you just feel like the love coming through the food, that is exactly how I felt eating a Gion soy milk ramen. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. <laughs> it's so good though. <laughs> For number seven, we went to Toshoan Cafe, and this is the first place on our list that isn't just like a savory restaurant. They make a lot of beautiful baked goods and some things that are like Japan specific. They make jiggly pancakes here at Toshoan that are gluten-free, I kid you not. And of course, when we went there, we went absolutely insane. <laughs> we got the custard jiggly pancakes, we got the chocolate jiggly mm -hmm. pancakes, and obviously we got the matcha jiggly pancakes. Yeah. Which, just side note, that's literally every single kind of jiggly yeah, the, pancake they We make. got all the pancakes. <laughs> this was like eating a cloud. It was. It was, it was like so, eating a cloud. It was so good. <laughs> they're gluten-free and they do jiggle. We can mm -hmm, confirm that. Mm -hmm. And they're delicious. We made them shake. Yeah, we made them shake. <laughs> And we're just on a roll here in Kyoto. There's so many great gluten-free places. The next place we went to that we loved was Bar Maru. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. Like I felt, I felt cool at Bar, Bar Maru because it sort of had like this lounge feel. Yeah, like totally. it was a good, especially like if you're a, if you're a couple going to Japan, it had this like late night sort of like classy establishment feel. Totally. Um, and yeah, we went in. We ordered. Uh, Atsukan, oh, yeah. which uh, gave us like a little bit of respect points, I think, from the waiter. So if you order Atsukan, they're going to bring you a piping hot little dish of hot sake mm -hmm. and two cute little cups with it. And it makes the sake sweeter and it's really nice, especially again in the winter or if it's cold outside. And this was our first time having Japanese curry. Man, let me tell you, did it deliver? That was so good. Remember the dessert too? It was like the first time we could have that glazed oh, like soy yeah. mochi that was very, it had this interesting flubbery consistency, shout out flubber 90s movie, uh, <laughs> but it was delicious. <laughs> and that's right in the Gion district. Nearby there is a beautiful shoe place, uh, not like Nike shoes, but like shoe paste. So mm -hmm. we got these matcha cream puffs there which I would also highly recommend. We totally stumbled upon that. They're, uh, they're made out of like rice and other flowers. This was like a softball. <laughs> it was enormous. Yeah. Well, that reminded me of the the cake place, the gluten-free cake place oh, also yeah. in Kyoto, really nearby because yeah, yeah. it had like this donut shape to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we bought an entire cake and ate it at home later. Uh, <laughs> they also had these great uh, like mochi triangles. Yes, you, I think they call them wagashi. Wagashi, that's right. And uh, we... We tore through some more guys. Yeah, they were good. They were the perfect um, train snack. So yep. we would get like the small little packet and you could get a box of four. The tangerine one. Tangerine was good. Wow. Would if recommend. you can get tangerine, yeah. it's so good. When you're in the Gion district of Kyoto, you can also do something that has sort of like a cultural significance as well, which we tried. We did a Japanese tea ceremony, which was really cool. Like we dressed up in kimonos, we went through all the steps that one has to take in order to properly present tea to another person. It's like, it's almost like a profession. These people have studied how to do this tea ceremony. Uh, and the, the Japanese teacher there was really excited for people coming from another country and being interested in Japanese culture. I have the inside scoop for you on possibly the best latte I've ever had the world over. We waited an hour for this latte. Mary, what's the verdict? It is definitely the best steamed milk I've ever had in my life. Wow. And it might actually be the best latte I've ever had, which is awesome because I was getting sad and angry. <laughs> <laughs> it really was like the most perfectly made delicious latte I've ever had. Yeah, so that's true. percent Arabica. So that brings us to number nine, Kyoto Engine Ramen. Yeah, I had the classic miso ramen. I really liked it. Yeah, um, you did like that, didn't you? 
Yeah, I, yeah, I did. I like. I like. You liked room. it enough to, I don't know, maybe try a second <laughs> in I'd, one sitting. I, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, after I ate my first ramen, I ordered the spicy miso ramen for another ramen. I was hungry. Then, yeah, I mean, you're true. only in Japan once, right? So I just went yeah, so just a little eat, like, overboard. Two dinners back to back at the same restaurant. Now for number ten, the experience that we wish upon every person with a gluten allergy. We had an exclusive gluten-free eating experience in Kyoto at Tepan Tavern. So the thing about Tepan Tavern is that they sell out all the time. So you have to get a reservation in order to go there. We literally heard people trying to open the door. Yes, and like they eight were times. not allowed in. No, it is actually wild. But if you're gluten-free, you actually get this sort of secret cheat code that opens the door to an incredible exclusive experience, which is that they serve only gluten-free customers first. So you basically have the restaurant to yourself. Yeah, and it was then... just us and another couple and Hideki and Naoko. It was like a family style dinner, but H Hideki is an incredible chef of Japanese delights. Who's making every course right on the grill in front of you and is like explaining where all the ingredients come from and you're getting to watch, honestly, this incredible chef just prepare this beautiful meal right before your oh. eyes and hang out with them because they're so fun and so cool. Yeah. Every course was amazing, but what are the, some of the things that stood out for well, we you? We had the tempura uh, crab, oh, right? Oh, the crab. So good. We had the Wagyu beef, which is like, I mean, whatever you've heard, it's it's true. The rumors are true. Wagyu beef is pretty good. Yes. Uh, and in the end, we had a great little pineapple boat dessert. Yeah, that was and beautiful. Like, yeah, just go make your reservation in advance. Um, jump through the hoops you need to to go to this place. And if you want more of our Japanese adventures, check out this next video.